Hi everyone, this is Kristen, and today I'm here with a tried and true case from Otterbox, the Otterbox commuter for iPhone 11. So the commuter is a very nice mid-range, mid-sized case from Otterbox. You've got good drop protection, you've got port protection, you have a slimmer case than the Otterbox Defender, but not so slim as the Otterbox Symmetry. Overall, this is a case that meets a lot of people's needs. Let's look at this in a bit more detail on my iPhone 11 in green. Looking at the construction of the commuter, this is a two-piece case with a hard polycarbonate shell and then a synthetic rubber interior, which is quite flexible and should provide a lot of protection for your iPhone. So what you want to do to install this is separate out the two pieces of the case and then take your phone and put it in the soft rubber interior. Wraps very easily around the phone. And then take it and slide it in from the bottom first into your hard polycarbonate shell. Just clips around here. It's really quite easy to get on. Clip up the top. Then you want to make sure here that your port cover goes in correctly. That's kind of the last bit. Press that into place and you are all set. Once on, we have an overall good fit on the phone with two glaring exceptions. So basically anywhere where you have both polycarbonate and rubber, or if there's just a small area of rubber, you have a nice tight fit. Absolutely no issues here. This is basically the bottom half of the sides, the bottom, no issues there. Going up the side, also good. The top, no problem. But our problem areas are the areas over the buttons. So basically this swath in here, this is only protected by rubber. There is no polycarbonate in this section. And you can see we can pull back the rubber quite easily to expose the sides of the phone. So you're ordinarily not going to be pulling this back. It's not going to be a problem. But over time, I worry that bits of dust or dirt could fall in here and cause a scratch hazard for your phone. So I think that's definitely something to keep in mind. That's true on this side. It's also true, obviously, on the other side as well. Other than that, we have a nice high lip here protecting your screen. Everything is great there. I currently have a tempered glass screen protector on here. This is the Zag Glass Elite Vision Guard screen protector. Really good screen protector. This is also going to fit well with Otterbox's Amplify screen protectors. Those are also excellent screen protectors. So looking down here at the bottom, we have protection here for your lightning port little door here protecting it so that's definitely going to give good protection against dust and dirt however we don't have any kind of mesh or anything like that covering your speaker and microphone areas just openings here so those are well protected against impact but not so much against dust or dirt Going around to the sides, we have a nice amount of grip on here, so the rubber is definitely grippy. This is a textured synthetic rubber, feels very nice underneath the fingertips. And then the polycarbonate here is also textured and gives you a nice amount of grip. Our buttons are outstanding, absolutely no issues. They have a nice click to them, everything works well. And then this area is also extra textured to give you even more grip on the sides. So. Although I do have an issue with the fact that this area tends to pull back very easily from the phone, I think that other than that, this works really quite well. The buttons are very responsive, and this is a nice grippy area of the phone case. So looking here at our mute switch, very easy to access it. And then going to the top, you can see the view from the top. Again, excellent amount of lip on here. Good fit here with our Zag Glass Elite Vision Guard screen protector. Going over here to our side button, again, super easy to press. Really nice, except for the fact that this area tends to pull away too easily. Looking at the back of the case, this is made of a textured polycarbonate that's very tough, has a nice feel underneath the fingertips, and is going to wear very well over time. It's not going to show fingerprints easily at all, and it's going to be very resistant to scratching. We do have some OtterBox branding down here at the bottom. This case does support wireless charging without any problems, and we have plenty of protection here for your protruding camera. Nice high lip around there, so I think you're going to be very well protected when you are in this case. Really, the only concern that I have about it is the looseness of the rubber sides over here. Other than that, I think that this is going to give you good drop protection and good overall protection. You have that port protection down here. Very nice to keep your lightning port nice and clean, free of dirt and dust. 
Like all OtterBox cases, we don't have any kind of a stated drop height from OtterBox for this case. They only say that it meets the standards of OtterBox's Drop Plus Protection Program. Overall, as far as I can tell, this is going to be more protective than your slimmer OtterBox Symmetry, and it's going to be less protective than your bulkier OtterBox Defender case. Overall, a nice mid-range protective case for your iPhone 11. Definitely a case to consider from OtterBox. Again, we've been looking at the commuter case by OtterBox for iPhone 11. This case is available directly from OtterBox as well as from many other retailers, and it has an MSRP of $40.95. There are four colors available. You have the Bespoke Way Blue shown here, as well as Black, Cupid's Way Pink, and Mint Way. Many thanks to the kind folks at OtterBox for sending me out these samples to review. If you have any questions about this case, please feel free to put them in the comments below, and I'll do my best to address them. If you have yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button because I have lots more case and screen protector reviews coming up. Again, this is Kristen with the OtterBox Commuter for iPhone 11. Thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful day.